In this video I want to show you a few tricks you can use to make two cards out of one with cover plate dies. If you don't have this kind of dies, you can also do this technique by using a set of dies that can cover the front panel of your card. It's important to die cut everything at once because otherwise this technique is not going to be really useful. So let me show you the tricks that you can use to make two cards out of one really easily. These are some of the supplies I'm going to be using today. Stick it, masking paper, fan foam, these are the cover die plates I'm using and also the stress oxides, gold watercolor paint and a few sentiment dies. So first thing I'm going to do is color two panels that are a standard size card panel and out of those two panels we're going to get four cards. Once we have our panels ready, it's time to start die cutting. For this first card, I'm going to adhere that piece of foam to the back of the cardstock. Uh, and for that, I'm going to use Stick It. If you have any double-sided tape that is thick enough, that's also okay. Maybe you have to use several stripes, but that's okay. Uh, the only reason I'm using this is to avoid any spots on the piece of foam where there is no glue. Now, if you want to do this with liquid glue, you can do it. Just make sure that everywhere on that piece of, of uh, foam, uh, there is glue. Now let's run this through our die cutting machine, but keep in mind we are trying to make two cards out of one. So when you position the die, make sure it is well centered, because that way you're going to be able to use both the positive and the negative pieces that are going to come out of the die cutting process. Now there is something really important I have to tell you about this first card, and that's that I shouldn't have used foam. No, don't get me wrong, it is a great technique, it gives you a lot of dimension and it's really impressive, but with this particular die it was very difficult to do because it, it's very intricate and well you have to be really really careful with the glue when you're applying it in the, in the back part to make sure that only the triangles get the glue, but the problem is that if you move it when you're placing it on the base card, even a little bit, then part of the glue is going to go to the sides. And we have really thin stripes in there. 
so it was very difficult to take it out I did it anyway but I wanted to let you know that if I had to do it again I would probably do it just flat and I will use the foam for a different die that is a little bit not as intricate as this one And as you can see I managed to save both parts but the negative side I'm going to be pushing a little bit the foam back into those lines because with all the pulling from, be from before it got a bit spoiled so the result is really nice I really like it but I want to be really honest with you and tell you how difficult that was so you don't make the same mistake So let's move on to the second panel. We are going to do it a bit different this time. I'm using one of those Swiffer or Swiffer. I don't know. This is the thing you use to remove the dust from the floor or from the furniture. And what I'm going to do is first place this uh, sheet on the die cutting machine, then the panel, then the die. I'm doing this to avoid all those little hearts to pop out uh, the moment I <laughs> run it through the die cutting machine because I really need them to stay in for the technique I'm going to show you. So before we remove that cleaning sheet from the bottom, we are going to add a piece of masking paper on the front side. That's because I need everything to stay in place while we add dimension to the other side. But don't worry, you can reuse that piece later, you don't have to throw it away. Now to add dimension, we are going to be using foam squares. And as you can imagine, it's going to take a while to do that, but the result is so worth it in my opinion. So there you have it, another two panels out of one and I think these backgrounds look amazing. So I'm just going to add a sentiment, I'm also adding some leaves that I had from a previous project that I didn't use and that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video and remember that all the supplies are listed below the video and also on my blog. Thank you so much for watching!
Thank you so much for watching. Here you have a couple more videos you might be interested in watching and also you can become a subscriber if you want. If you do so and even if you're already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. Have a wonderful day and see you again soon. Bye!